Hello and welcome back. So let's deal with uh, login and the sign up of our website here. So we already had a template. We already have a template, like I mentioned. So check your files if you don't have it, or you can create your own from scratch. Doesn't really matter. Or you can get a template. Uh, it matters not. But uh, I have this in a folder here. Let me try and find it if I can find it. So that's the page. So copy that file and come to views where the other views are and open containing folder. And let's paste it in here. So I will change this to login.blade.php and remove the HTML extension over there. Now, if you're un unable to see your file extensions here, just paste the files in there and you can edit them from here. Just right click and say rename and you can rename them from here. So our login page is this one right here. So it has references to Google fonts, but you can download these fonts like Roboto and add them directly into the, uh, what's this, in here. For example, this is asking for Roboto here. And all you need to do is say add font face inside the styles. You can say add font. Uh, I hope this is how it is done though. It's been a while. And then you say font family like this. And then you give it that name, Roboto. Roboto. Yes, and then you say source. And then the source now is going to be the URL. Uh, URL. Mm. Let's imagine we have the font inside assets, right? This is the, um, is it uh, assets? Assets, uh, I don't know, fonts. And then the font file name roboto or something like this dot ttf something like that so this is how you can replace this import from there once you have it like this it will load for as long as the file exists here mm -hmm. okie dokie and uh, you may need to use blade here if it doesn't find the file but uh, this is something you can figure out Okay, but for now, I'll leave it as it is uh, because I'm not really concerned about that. And the only thing here is, um, let's see. Actually, this thing toggles, it's supposed to toggle between two modes. So here there's a, a simple script that toggles between this form and that form. There are two forms here. There's a register form and there's a login form on the same page but for some reason it doesn't toggle anymore. But let's see if we can uh, get it to do that. So I will go to routes here and add one more route yeah, like this. And this one is for the login page, of course. Login and that's it. So login and let's add one for the uh, register. Oops. Okay, I lost a, my visual there for a second. Sorry about that. Uh -huh. So instead of login, uh, let's go to register. Computer playing tricks on me. Okay, so register and then uh, that's it. So once we get these, uh, let me go to, actually that's it. So let me come back here and refresh. Now I'll type this directly in there and just say login. Let's see what we get. And there we go. We get the page uh, instantly. Mm -hmm. But of course we need our header, which will be much, much better so that we can navigate back and forth. So let's go to our login here. And right above here, I will add my header. I'll say include header like this. So let's see if that actually does anything good for this system. I'll leave the script down here below and put footer over there and say footer like this. This way we get a 
likeness that looks like uh, it's part of the actual uh, website that we have here. So you see the green is gone because we are getting interference with um, our styles, yes? So you can take your time here and see which styles you can get away with uh, removing. So you can remove all the styles like this, save and see what survives. So this doesn't look very good, so you know that's a no-no. So then you can go in here and check, just delete one style at a time and see what doesn't change anything, then that's useless. You can take it out. So I'll leave that up to you. For now, we're going to leave this as it is. Let me just add more space between these two here. I'll put a couple of break tags uh, as laziness for adding margin at the top. I'll just do that. Okay, so this is awesome. Uh, we have our login page. Now let's add, uh, let me actually add an H1 tag here and just, just so we can broadcast what we are doing. If this is a login or a sign up, let's see. Okay, so that's login right there. So now you can check which form is showing. It looks like it's the, um, the sign up, uh, the, the login page, sorry. If I do that, okay, there we go. So once I do that, it changes to a uh, sign up page. If I do this, it changes to a login page, which is uh, pretty cool. But we want separate pages for this. So I'm just going to remove this uh, cool animation here because uh, I do not want to, but actually, no, let me just leave it there. Let's see what how we can work around it. Uh, not always, some of these things are too cool to just uh, leave out. So what I will do is, let me do this and put register at the top there. So I've added the H1 tags inside the forms and changed their titles there. That way, uh, when it flips, we have a different title. It says register and here it says login. Okay, which is much better. And then what we will do instead, uh, we will have these forms uh, send their methods to different locations. So here I will put a method and make sure the method is post like that. And then we will add an action here to make sure that we are sending the info to different places. So here we go. And I will say, um, this one will go to, let me put uh, blade uh, Kelly braces there and put URL and send this to register. That's what we will be calling it. And I will copy that same thing, bring it uh, in here in the action here and send this one instead to uh, login like so. Okay. And then once we are done with that, let's separate these a little bit. So inside the form again here, let's put one more uh, directive here, which is the at CSRF token because we need those tokens and we'll do the same here. Okay, so this is it for now. We at least have a login register. Sorry about that. All right, so I'll see you in the next video where we actually implement this.